Greyhound underscore TV is our Twitter account with all of the links. You can also access that feed at greyhoundtv.org. But I can assure you that if Gilman ends up making it to Ripken Stadium in Aberdeen, we'll be out there. That's a long way down the road. Now, Jake Grummet. Jake Grummet taking a charge. Grummet looked for a shot. He took a shot, but that one just did not go in as he hurdled a man. Grummet takes a tumble afterward, doing a little combat roll. Jake Grummet, stylish. Jake Grummet, the rowdy Pennsylvania Punisher here at Gilman School. 11.27 to go in the fourth quarter. And the Glenrock Gladiator has made his mark in this one. Not able to get the shot to go, but certainly putting on the theatrics here at George M. Chanley Field. Now McDonough takes a shot, and this one bounces wide of the goal and out of play on the other side. Piper Vine in on defense. Dagan Hacks. Rather, that is Taylor Cashman. McDonough takes a shot. This one deflected off of Sam Tyrone. I bounce off of his stick. McDonough able to recover. Chris Garland barking out orders for Ray on team. That's Ray on team coming over to us from St. Paul's School. House in there. Now a shot. Case score. And McDonough. They're up 9 to 2. Barrett Sutton, back of the net. Really pretty. Number 27, the senior. I believe you're right. 35 on the clock in the fourth quarter as we are right in the meat of the last quarter of play in the 2016 season for the Hounds, and they trail by seven. It is not looking good. McDonough, the number three team in the country, fighting at midfield for the ball off the faceoff. Xander Martin over there in the scrum. And so is the scrappy reach breaking out the ball. Justin Edwards over to help. This is his last quarter in his Gilman career. And we will have a timeout taken by the Eagles. <laughs> And here come the Eagles. It's been deflected away by a Gilman defenseman. Fighting for the ball, it bounces away. And over to get it to Greyhound. Looking for a quick shot. Greyhound on the run here. Viper Vaughn behind. Sends it over. Two off to Charlie Wittick to Chris Williams with under 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It's Wade Ausler. Hoping to see a lot of Wade Ausler next year, Matt. He could be a big force in the team. Absolutely. He's had such an incredible junior year. So Andy Andrews passes. Charlie Wittick makes Wittick the senior. 31. On the near side. Wittick falling down, losing the ball. It's still on the ground. And here come the Eagles. Wade Alsler trying to improvise on defense as the Eagles go quickly down the field. And a few trading games. Eagles have one of their own there. They're going to slow it down. This Greyhound team does have a bright future. Next year, we'll have some senior leadership from Wade Alsler, Dylan Bird. I don't think you're Jacob Grumman, of course, Taylor Cashman. Yeah. Really strong, really strong seasons uh, from all of these guys. Uh, I think they really. No doubt about it. Certainly there has been some underclassmen involved in the course for freshmen. Sophomore leadership as well. Pushing and shoving. Edwards on the side. 8.15 to go in the fourth quarter. McDonough sitting comfortably with a 9-2 lead as they get set for an MIAA postseason appearance. Gilman not so lucky. 
wrapping up their season here today. Checking into the game, Andrew Morgan. Yeah, Andrew Morgan coming off a little bit of a leg injury here. But the uh, Bel Air South Ball is out there. Andrew Morgan a little bit more next year. Very quickly coming to an end as a shot taken bounces away to the right side of the net out of play. McDonald Ray. Yeah, the crowds are opening. The season is closing. Seven minutes left on the clock. Lexi Blahoyan is on. Greyhoundtv.org. David Sturgeon on defense this season. Playing his final minutes as a Neil Now, shot scored. Came blazing by Sam Tyrone. 6.45 on the clock, 10 to 2 your score. And Matt, do you think that Brooks Matthews will give Brooks a little bit of opportunity? More or less out of the chair, of course, around here. What do you watch and what point Brooks Matthews will be putting in some of the uh, players who don't play as much? Stay with the Logan. Stay with the Logan. Six on the clock. Eagles have the ball. Come on, come on! They're racing towards the net, and they score. <laughs> we want Apple! Showing the staff's box right now. They must have really put the fight. Hopefully, it's going to be right now. We're going to finish this season. We're going to finish this season. That the first one who picked up the ball is Derek Bologna and Bluefliss uh, with the ball. So with 6.20 to go, McDonald leads at 11 2 in the ground on the ball. The game we have number 9 is Dylan Bird, number seven, is not a senior. He's a good He cranked up the two. Yeah, the goalie certainly did a good job of that right there. Dylan Bird bringing the heat. He couldn't get one. Chris Williams running over the net. Zach Jones in the near side. Hunter Flax, long stick midi. <laughs> Exception, Zach Jones. A number of seniors here on the channel. So, McDonald's going to make the goalkeeper. Come on, come on, come on. 23 is going to check Come on, guys, we're going to go. Here comes Zach Jones for the great job of keeping his balance. Going quickly to Austin Hudson. Now to Dylan Bird. And Rather large deficit by very little, but a great showing there. Zach Jones to Austin Hudson over the door. Really nice drive. Let's go, Drew! Austin Edwards coming off. 35. Excuse me, number 29 on the black. Oh, Grinson! Let's go, Cavalo! 
lot of fighting there for the ball after the faceoff. Just under five minutes to go. Now Austin Hudson coach, coach. Hey, that's a faceoff win. Number 42, Jake Gavino in the game now coming right off. Here he comes, taking a shot. This one wide and off the stick of Dylan Bird is able to keep it through Dylan Cowboy. Austin Hudson over that of Bryce Jones. And now in the game is Matt Sines, the senior mini, and this one off the crossbar and out of play. Drummond <laughs> family, valued members of the Yellman community. Bryce Jones, Jones looking for a lane, he can't get it. They're up 11 to 3. Four minutes on the clock. They are just trying to bide their time and walk out of this one with a W. They make their way into the playoffs. Matt Simes on defense. Hacking away. Taking a shot. Scoring are the Eagles right by Looking to make the biggest mark he can on the Gilman Lacrosse program before he goes. Derek Lundquist on the near side of the 41. Hunter Flax on the far side for Greyhounds. Applefeld. Putting a lot of heart into it, but Hart Come can't on, get the job Apple. done. He loses the ball. Oh, and trip. Let's go, Apple! And he's able to keep the ball despite three going to the back. So Applefeld not able to do it. It looks like he stays in the game now. Closing in on three minutes in the game. The Eagles passing it around. And this one gets away from that. Scooping it up now. Go, Brian! 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 Get in there, Brian! Get in there, Brian! Get in there, Great memory, but two times, and that's just foolish. <laughs> <laughs> but he will put a number 38, Drew Salt, in here. Excuse me, Jake Ablo. The Greyhounds have the ball with 2.50 to go. Piper Bond, he's flanked by the sophomore Jeremy Cranston, the younger Cranston. Wade Ausler checks in on the, on the near side, rather. Looking for someone. Right there is number nine. He's completely backing up to get the pass on Wade Ausler. Gets away from him, but he's able to scoop it up behind him. And now approaching the white line. Ausler winding up. Shooting oh! off the net. Looked like it may have already bounced out. Rather off the bar. I guess it'll be a good one. It really moved the net. It, it always <laughs> looked like it made its way in. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the series of events were like. That. It really caught the net. bounce back. So Wade Alsler in the game, the junior with under two minutes to go. Here's Charlie Wade. Two found outs are behind some Charlie Wittick. Wittick falling down, he's able to get it off towards Jeremy Cranston. Getting ready to check in for the McDonough Eagles, number one, BJ Farrar. Nice. Nice. Here comes back to the game here. What are you doing? <laughs> 
135 until the season is over. That penalty on McDonough. That one right against number 12. Yeah. 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 Pass over weight out for Alzor to Woody Kelly. Kelly over to Dylan Burke. Burke loses the ball, popped up in the air. Right. Alzor fighting, loses the ball. Alzor trying to get it. Oh, what a great move by Alzor. A pass inside. This one goes wide. Wade Alzor took a hit with his that was quite a move. The Air Force Bill is the king of the sky leader. But for now, he's going to stay on the ground and back down underwater. So 53 seconds left in the season. Chris Wood has got a penalty there for his foot push in the back. Two flags out. Everyone's got a little strap in. There's Ronick fellow over there. Ronick still has the ball. Number 19, Jack Carr. Jared Sutley, number, or excuse me, not Jared Sutley, six. And a shot, Madonna scored. Oh, they say, they don't wave it off. They say that counts. 13 to 4. 25 seconds to the Two penalty flags were out. Yeah, boys! Going out for the base off the field, number 25, Aaron. Number 40, Brian Appelfeld in the game here on your near side. The far side looks to be Jake Gavilo. Apple! This one pops towards Brian Appelfeld. Appelfeld trying to get the Gets away from it. 17 seconds left Go in the game. Go Lynch Apple! Picks up the ball here. Go Apple! Go! Oh. Go! They're going to try and get a desperation heave for a goal. Four seconds left. Gets away from Austin Hudson. McDonough's going to throw it up in the air. And there it goes. Yeah, my double H is on the Cross season. Everything's over here at Gilman School as McDonough takes this one 13 to 4 against the Jays.